As a part of Alcasan's ongoing efforts to reduce combined sewer overflows within our system and to maintain the milestone dates within our modified consent decree, in the next year, we will be embarking on the construction of two large-scale plant improvements, which will be major steps towards our wet weather plant expansion goals of increasing our primary treatment capacity to 480 million gallons per day and our secondary treatment capacity to 295 MGD by 2025. We will begin our virtual tour with our East Headworks project. Currently, the area where the East Headworks will be built is a gravel lot, but construction will be underway very soon. Here, you will see a rendering of the location and appearance of the East Headworks building. The East Headworks will be sized to treat 360 MGD. These three lines portray our buried sewer interceptors, which convey gravity sewers into our main pump station. Once the pumps at our pump station turn on, these flows will be conveyed to either the east or west headworks as shown here. Once plant flows past the headworks, they will continue north to receive primary treatment, secondary treatment, and disinfection prior to discharging to the Ohio River. The east headworks will provide preliminary treatment, which consists of bar racks with screens, and grit tanks. As flows from the main pump station approach the east headworks, they will travel through bar racks which will screen large materials like tree stumps and bricks to prevent damage to mechanical equipment within the plant. These screens constantly carry the screen material upward onto a conveyor belt which ultimately discharges into a compactor to be hauled out for disposal. Following the screening, plant flows will enter the aerated grit tanks. The supplied air forces the inorganic material, like rocks, to drop out of flows to the bottom of the tank. Grit pumps are then used to pump the inorganic material up to a grit washer and compactor to dry the material prior to being hauled out for disposal. In addition to the wastewater treatment aspect of the East Headworks, Alcasan will also be tying the East Headworks into our expanded Headworks odor control system to prevent odor increases from plant flows. Here you will see a rendering of what the proposed control center housed in the East Headworks will look like from the inside. This will be the control headquarters of the Alcasan Influent System. Beginning the construction of the East Headworks is a major step for the Alcasan plant expansion toward attaining our primary treatment goal of 480 MGD by 2025. Now, our virtual tour will continue with our North End plant expansion project. Currently, Alcasan treats flows up to 250 million gallons per day. The North End project will increase our secondary treatment capacity up to 295 million gallons per day. Secondary treatment begins at our eight aeration tanks in the central part of our plant and continues north at our 16 circular final clarifiers. One aspect of the North End project will be to construct two additional final clarifiers to bring our total to 18 to treat the increased flows required under the modified consent decree. As we walk south here, we will enter our chemical storage building. In this building, we will have six tanks to store sodium hypochlorite, which is the chemical added to disinfect our plant flows. We will also have two tanks to store sodium bisulfite, which is added to our plant effluent to ensure that we do not exceed our chlorine limit prior to discharging to the Ohio River. As we proceed downstairs, below the chemical storage building, we will enter the northern end of our plant-wide pipe gallery, which is an interconnection of pipe and personnel tunnels that connect the extents of our plant underground. As we enter the main central pipe gallery, we will exit through another new structure that will be built as part of the North End project. This structure will house our final disinfection influent sampling equipment. As we move south, you will see another rectangular building, which will be constructed under the North End project. This is a return activated sludge, or RAS, pump station that will convey the settled sludge from the base of the two new final clarifiers back to our aeration tanks. 
In order to make the construction of all these new structures feasible within the remaining space that we have at the north end of the plant, the final piece of the north end project is the construction of a river wall that will be approximately 1,000 feet in length. The North End Plan Expansion Project will be one of, if not the largest construction project under the current phase of our plant expansion. The construction is scheduled to begin in the coming months, which marks a very exciting time for us here at Alcazan. Thank you for joining us for the virtual tour of our upcoming construction projects. We look forward to working with you and all of our partners to remain on track with our modified consent decree milestone dates and to take major steps in the coming years towards keeping our rivers clean.